In a world full of high-tech solar backpacks and GPS applications that digitize the experience of walking through tall grass, I can't help but think that we've lost our ability to get lost. I indulge in the recollections of childhood when you could be on your way to adventure with just a pocket knife, a bandana, and a lucky feather you found from a previous afternoon. Finding little mud holes like this is always kind of cool because you can see what's been through, what's been drinking, who's visiting. In this case, we have some dog, big dogs, coyotes most likely. You can tell by the claw marks being out. They don't retract their claws, whereas a cat would retract. But also, you have some smaller coyotes here. Also got some deer coming through, so hooved animal there. And then maybe some uh, possums and raccoons here and there. Cool. Going off of the trail and into the bush has rewarded me with some of the coolest experiences and finds. I've stumbled upon animal remains that now adorn my bookshelves, including both a coyote and a goat skull. On this particular walk, I was taken off guard by a large doe mule deer that was bedded near the remains of a fallen oak tree not more than 20 yards from me. The grace that a large animal can have when bouncing through the thick brush will never cease to capture my awe. But interesting fauna aren't the only rock stars of the Chaparral Hills. So this here is one of the trademarks of the West, known as sagebrush, not to be confused with this black sage next to it. I don't know if we can see that. Here. But sagebrush is actually not a sage. Uh, don't know why they call it that. My favorite term for it is cowboy cologne. It's what the cowboys would use to freshen up before hitting the brothels and uh, meeting with the ladies. The leaves of this potent potpourri was also used by hunters to mask their scent. So there's another use for this plant outside of smelling nice for the ladies and that is sanitation. Uh, sagebrush has some antimicrobial properties that help clean up after you do your business. Another trademark of the chaparral needs no introduction. The famed yucca. This here is actually the yucca plant in bloom. Uh, the flower petals are edible. Most of the plant is actually edible, including the root. It has some uh, cleaning properties as well. You can use it to create a soap, but super useful. There's not like a taste that I would assign to it. Yeah, I, I don't know what I would compare it to. It's good. 
Coming back into the trail, I'm reminded of how much is lost when the route is predetermined. The footprints placed over the previous act as territory claimed by man. Even with no one around, I feel compelled to keep moving at a hiker's pace. Without destinations, finish lines, or trails, I'm taken back to an experience that resembles a younger day well spent by combing over rocks to find lizards.